My name is Adam, but most of you know me as Flow State. I've been on YouTube for a little over a year now. I started out making Minecraft videos with a cinematic flair and talking about life and personal stories, which I'm not going to lie, did pretty well. But over time, the content machine wears you down. You get bored of making the same kind of videos over and over again. And that was definitely true with me. Eventually, I just said, you know what, screw it. Let's try out real life. Maybe it'll be different. I get to film in nature with a, you know, pretty similar format, talking about life and lessons I've learned, but to much less tangible success. That is undeniable. And when I look back at how well I was doing with the Minecraft content, I kept wondering, did I just screw this up? Did I just kill my golden goose by switching content? I mean, after all, the views, the sponsorships, the creator collabs, the comments, everything was booming when I was doing Minecraft. But when I switched, that largely faded away. And it's been about five months now since I switched from Minecraft to real life. And I have this nagging voice in the back of my mind saying, you don't really hate Minecraft, do you? I mean, look at this town you've been building with your friends on the server for the past three months. It's awesome. You love to do it. Why are you trying to tell yourself that you're not a gamer? That making gaming content is for just immature people? You know you love the game. And all the people that loved your old Minecraft videos, they're still here, patiently waiting in the hopes that maybe he'll return to the old days. And all of this information came to a crux when I saw a video a few days ago from Asian Half Squad. He's a popular Minecraft mod reviewer. And he was showing off something incredible. This is the latest version of a Minecraft mod called Distant Horizons. And dude, my jaw dropped when I saw this. I could not believe that this was actual gameplay. And my immediate reaction was, man, I gotta get back to Minecraft content. So here's where things stand. I still enjoy filming by the river. It's fun, I get to express myself with my hand gestures, but clearly I've yet to find a format that works. Right now, I just look like every other self-improvement YouTuber out there. But I'm damn good at making Minecraft videos, and I really do enjoy making them. And I know you guys enjoy watching them. So from now on, this channel, Flow State, will be going back to Minecraft. Not in a content conveyor belt sense, I'm not burning myself out doing daily uploads again, but a place to share high quality labors of love. Longer videos with the best cinematics on YouTube, maybe even some talking videos again. Just getting back to my roots. I'll probably make a second channel in the future that has my real name and that's where I put real life content. But for now I have to be realistic and look at the numbers. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't just do this originally. It would have saved me a lot of headache having two different channels. But you know what? We live and we learn. Sometimes you just need a few months hiatus to figure out what you really want to do in life. So you're probably wondering, okay, well, what's the rest of this video about then? Well, I'm just going to do what I do best and show off some cinematic gameplay with this new version of Distant Horizons. Let's do it. All right, we got to make a world first. Um, how about the return? It was fitting and hardcore because ain't no bitch and let's let's do it man i'm excited i've only seen little tidbits and done little demo footage but i really am excited to play this bro are you serious this is where i spawned well all right i mean that's a start i guess why do you have all these barrels and absolutely nothing in them so so the premise with distant horizons is that you get to have a lot more render distance and normally, I would be rendering 32 render distance or something, right? But right now, with Distant Horizons, you get to see... I think it's set to 256 chunks, which is nuts. Yeah, it's definitely a little buggy. I will not lie. I mean, look, when I go underwater, my screen flashes black. This is still very much a beta test. Don't, don't fret if you can't use it just yet or if your game keeps crashing. It's, it's not really meant for public use yet. Oh, and I didn't even mention this. Part of why it's such a big deal is, I mean, Distant Horizons has existed for a while now, but it's finally able to really use shaders. That's why I was so excited. So I'm running Bliss shaders. There's only like three shaders that work with it right now, and Bliss is one of them. I feel like it looks pretty good. I mean, some parts that don't look as great, like lighting looks like ass, at least when you compare it to stuff like complementary or Rethinking Voxels. I always play with Rethinking Voxels. All right, here we go on the mainland oh yeah and i know i'm gonna get so many questions about this so i might as well answer it now the mod pack that i'm running 
is the same mod pack I always use, the one that I made like a year ago now, I think, uh, called Better Adventures Plus. So if you want to play and have your game look like this, I use Better Adventures Plus. There's so many little things like the ambience and the leaf particles and stuff. It's like, why is Mojang not out of this? It's just, I know they have their own little design philosophy and they don't want to make it too out there, but come on, man. That's a crazy looking mountain over there. Oh, check it out. Got a village. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why the chests look this way, it's um, the mod pack has this thing called looter in it, which really is only meant for multiplayer. Um, but basically, if you loot a chest, another player will have their own loot in that chest. So it's not like someone can beat you to the chest and then you're like, oh shit, I didn't get the loot. You know, you get your own little private loot. So it makes multiplayer exploration so much better. I cannot stand coming up on a village and like, oh, look, everything's already been taken. All right, let's just get some food. I don't want to spend too much time here. All right, let's, um... I guess we get on top of that little hill and see what we can see. Man, I mean, look, if there's one thing that Bliss does well, it's the fog and like the, just the atmospheric vibe, you know? If someone could combine the fog of this shader with the block lighting of Rethinking Voxels, that would be, oh, that would be my dream shader. But I have zero clue how to do that. So. Just gotta hope that someone wants it as badly as I do. Oh my god, man. Like, how could I ever go back to not having this render distance? That is mental. Yeah, okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. This looks infinitely better with Rethinking Foxes, but I guess I guess you can't win at everything with every shader, but... I mean, I'm running the default settings. I didn't change anything, so... I don't know if that's just how it's designed, but... Ooh. All right, I guess we'll sleep. Uh, this village over here. Oh, oh. Just, uh, don't mind me. Oh, fuck's sake. Alright, you wanna tango? I just wanna find somewhere nice to settle down, because I really do not like the savanna. Might be a hot take, but I, it's just not my vibe at all. Whoa. Oh my. What the? This does not even look real. <laughs> Like, this looks like a Blender animation that you would see in, like, 2014. You're like, oh, that looks cool, but it's not actually in-game. I mean, look at that pyramid. We gotta go check that out. Like, how do you go back? Like, it's like, okay, this is my default way of playing the game now. I can't play without it. Well, and I'm also, I'm also playing with, uh, I think it's Tectonic is what it's called. I usually play with Terralith, which adds a bunch of new biomes, but... I'm pretty sure Tectonic only changes just the vanilla generation. It doesn't add any biomes in, but it makes the biomes way more expansive. But you really can only appreciate that expansiveness when you have a mod like Distant Horizons, because you would never see it like this otherwise, and you can like fully appreciate that beauty now. That's a massive sand dude. Alright, this looks pretty formidable, dude. All I have is a wooden axe. Also, you notice that the boat looks weird. Why is it like, it's like a raft. Wow, oh, check this place out. I'm pretty sure there's a staircase on the sides. Oh dear. Oh, oh jeez. Maybe not. I mean, I guess the lighting doesn't look terrible. It looks all right inside, but it's just like, it's not even close to rethinking voxels. I just think that looks so much better. It looks so much more realistic. I don't think I'm equipped for this yet. I'm going to be honest. I don't want to die in the first 15 minutes. Oh, there's a second one. I can always come back to this, I guess. What is this? Is this like a lone cottage? Copper cottage? Hmm. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, definitely take that. Does this guy live here? Oh, he's got a name. Vagabond. Oh, what? Okay, so it's like a a special villager. These are some weird trades. <laughs> like one specifically a yellow bed for two chests. Yeah, it looks really good underwater actually. Look at this lighting. I can still see the hill that we originally came down. You know, way over there. It just it it feels so much more like you're in an actual open world game. Like like when you're playing The Witcher and you can see 
mountains way off in the distance. It just feels more real. I will say Minecraft has a very special feeling when you're cresting a hill or a mountain and you just gotta know what's on the other side of it. I don't know what it is. There's no other game like it. Oh, it's like totally flat. Oh, okay. To be honest, I wasn't quite expecting that. <laughs> this is okay, I guess. Can I make a bed? Oh, I'm one string short. Here, if I kill one of these spiders, I can get one more string, and then I can make a bed. Die, fiend. All trash. Oh, actually, yeah, that's right. Let me make a sleeping bag. It's uh from that comforts mod, I think. All right, let's go check out this mountain range. I saw this before the sunset. Oh my god, dude, this already looks so cool. Dude, like, look at this. Let's go, let's go in that direction. Looks promising. And one of my goals for this first little session, I guess, is just to make a little hidey hole house. I don't want to make like a full house, but somewhere to call home instead of a sleeping bag. And like the being able to see that far, it makes the distance feel so much more real. Like when you can't see the distance, you're kind of just like running forever. But it's like, no, I can see where I'm going. It's just going to take me forever. Oh, my game crashed. <laughs> well, I guess, I mean, it is an alpha. Oh dear. You know, while my game loads, let me tell you, I've been drinking a lot of kombucha lately. I've got this lemon berry flavor. Pretty good from Synergy. Ooh, but it tastes awful after brushing your teeth. Jesus Christ. Probably shouldn't have done that. All right, let's load back in. I guess let's, well, I don't know what I did wrong. I think I just crashed, so. There's the village. Oh, that looks like a beautiful spot, dude. A jungle here, too. That'd be nice. Oh, is that a jungle island? That's really cool, actually. All right. That's not bad. Jeez. This is such an expanse. I should play in third person more often, actually. It's kind of a nice way to play. I love this cherry blossom lining the mountains, too. That's really nice. It almost looks like the edge of a map in a video game where you crest the other side and it's just going to be like a like an empty no clip void. But I mean there's there's going to be something over there. God, like look at this view. That is mental. I just I can't go back. I cannot go back. This is this is my default mod now. This really is reminiscent to me actually back when I made that video when I first uh, showed off Rethinking Voxels and I was just shitting my pants over it and like oh I can't go back. It's kind of like that. Like this is just an essential mod now. Look at this is some really thick uh, mountain range. You could put like a castle in here. It'd be badass. Very handy way to get around here in the mountains by boat. Yeah, I do want to find a nice spot that's kind of alpine, ideally. Like, I love some spruce trees and maybe a lake. I'm not really digging the whole savanna. I don't really know of anyone that likes the savanna, if I'm being honest. So, like, to live there? Maybe some people do, but you should be put on, like, a government watch list if you love the savanna biome. Dude, that looks like a nice spot. Like a lake with a village connected to it that's cool that's the thing though about this mod it's like oh he's like oh you see that it looks cool yeah it's gonna take 10 minutes just to get there yeah this is looking this is looking better this is more my vibe kind of a, a lot of mountainous forest I'm digging it i like it that's a menacing looking pillager tower <laughs> overlooking the uh the village right here that's pretty cool that looks terrible i don't know why all the leaves blend together just to make one color like that I just need a little bit of gear. Like iron would be nice. I think that's another blacksmith, maybe? No, oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. Double pickaxe? I would say, I mean, we got some good caves around here. Maybe up on that birch hill. That looks kind of nice. Bingo on the water would sound, sounds pretty good though. Here, let's take a boat, ride out to sea, and see if we can find a nice spot. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. An overhang. Dang, like, look at this view though. This is nice. This might be the spot, dude. This is so scenic. 
Probably like right on the coast right there. Yeah, like in that little patch of oak. We got animals too. We got, I know there were sheep back there, but we got cows. We got, we got bees. Huge coastline. Oh my god. Ooh, what the? What is this? Right, that that leaves a little bit to be desired. Not gonna lie, but I can clean that up in time. All right. I think, I think we found our spot. This is, this is crazy beautiful. All right. I think I'm gonna take a short break. I'll uh, come back and then we'll work on the house. All right. All right, one little idea I had though, as a little intermission, is I wanted to show off the town that I've been working on with my friends for the past three months. It's awesome. We've really built up this really cool looking town. So let me show you around. All right, let's start on the outskirts of town. Start with this vineyard my friends Jack made. I think it's pretty cool looking. It's not too big, but yeah, I mean, it's cozy. I'm not really sure that you can sleep on this bed. Is there an upstairs? Let the fear bring you to us. You're here for it. I don't know what that means. I'll have to ask Jack about it. And this path goes towards main town. This is where the money is. I actually really like this pathway. Like, look at this little bridge. I'm impressed. That's the, that's the beautiful thing about being on a multiplayer server is you see stuff that you're like, wait, I didn't build that. And it just kind of like popped up. And it's it's cool to see it grow over time. All right, so this is the, the original part of the town. This is a little dirt hut that I found on the first night, I built a little, little cozy hole. Yeah, first night, three months ago. And then I built this little wheat farm thing. I really like this little wheat field. I'm, I'm proud of it. And there was also a little little cave in here, but I never did anything with that. And then if we keep going this way, get towards kind of the main town. This is my house. There used to be a much inferior version, but I was really unhappy with it. So I just tore it down. And it's kind of like a Japanese townhouse. Uh, I'll take you inside. There's a greenhouse. I really like this greenhouse. I'm proud of it. Complete with a reading nook. And then you come inside, just, you know, kind of general decorations. Nothing, nothing too functional, if I'm being honest. It's more for aesthetics. Got a nice balcony. I guess we can go upstairs. There's nothing really done upstairs. It's kind of empty rooms. It's a chicken in here. But we'll go downstairs. That's where the money is. So you go down these stairs, and then it kind of turns into a cave. All this I dug out by hand. It didn't exist before. I love this window, dude. This is my favorite. How it like looks out over the fjord. And then I come down here, just a little, little pond. I've yet to finish this part, but this opens up to the storage room. So this is this is more than enough storage now. This is gonna be a balcony. I guess I'll just show it to you now, might as well. This is gonna be a massive fjord. See the water up there on the upper left? All of this is gonna be water, but I have to dig down still, like this far. Like, I've already dug down a lot. You can see where the ground used to be, but I've got a long way to go. I'm really proud of these, what would you call them? Like hanging vines, They're kind of draped around. I think it looks really cool. Kind of gives me like Maze Runner vibes. Yeah, this is the storage room. It's got a nice little Aquarium. Yeah, the nether portal's there, but kind of temporary. And then this comes up to just a bit of crafting and smelting. All right, let's go back upstairs. Let's go back this way. Don't look at this yet. I'll show it to you later. Over here, uh, I've built these bridges that span across the fjord. And this connects up to, I guess you could call it like a marketplace. Um, I didn't build this. My friend Luca built it. But I think this looks pretty cool, dude. He's got some like market stalls. He's got this statue thing. Really cool looking buildings. This is pretty freaking awesome. I think I saw some cake over here. I might eat some. Yeah, he's, I guess he built like a little bakery too. Tony's cannolis. <laughs> All right. Is that Tony? Tony's operating the uh, cannoli station. And then he, he tore it down, but there used to be a massive tavern right there. But I think he decided that it was way too tall. Yeah, look how far you can see, dude. That is so insane. It really makes you appreciate the size of the world. Yeah, I don't think these have anything in them. Okay, they have a little bit, but they're pretty empty. More for looks. Yeah, this comes down this way to just some storage bins that I've put down. Yeah, it's mainly just a spot for me to put all the stone and, and dirt and stuff that I've been excavating from this massive project. I mean, look at that. The chapel that Luca built. This is pretty cool. This is one of the first things that was added. Pretty nice. Nice and spacious. 
then it's got a tower up top gives you a pretty good view of the town yeah look at that this is quite a view all right i guess the next thing to show you would be uh luca's place so this is his place it's kind of a two building setup We've got some american flags got some filipino flags i really like his place it's pretty cozy it's got a nice view of the mountains i think yeah there's an upstairs as well yeah dude this is so what the what is this? <laughs> yeah, and then this connects to a storage room. I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is his bedroom. Okay, this used to be a storage room. Yeah, Lucas built all of this. None of this has been made. So I think this is a tavern. Yeah, something like that. It's pretty cozy. It's got some some rooms, I think. And then this is the blacksmith. I don't think he ever finished this, but it's pretty cool. And then this is a water mill. Nothing really in here, but it's got a really cool looking wheel. Look at that. And this is the stables. It's kind of on the outside of town. I think my horse is parked here. And this is another fjord that's gonna, like it's gonna go underneath the wheat fields, like an underground cave, and then come out this side. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, and then this is the wizard's tower. It's where we do a lot of our enchanting. Nothing too crazy, just uh, the enchantment room. Now we're getting into like big stuff. This is this is Luca's magnum opus. He's been working on this government building. It's like our main, like, tax office or, you know, the Senate building or whatever. It's massive. Absolutely yoked. It's not done yet, but it's got, like, a map room. That's pretty cool. And then it's, like, a courtyard situation in here. Yeah. I'm not really sure. I gotta ask him what his plans are. Yeah, it's not done, but... God damn, is this place cool. And then this is the second fjord this is another one that i dug out and then this down here across from the government building is like our industrial district i guess you could say um i've built this you know kind of like large scale dock and i have like a big boat in here i think this is like a much bigger tavern that one of my friends charlie has been working on looks freaking cool though yeah it's gonna look really good when this is all filled out and that's like a secondary dock that I've built over there. We'll have more buildings, but nothing really to see over there. And then this, this has been one of our massive projects. This right here, as you can see where the ground is flat in the water, this used to be entirely brown. We dug out this cliff. This looks so cool, man. It's all man-made. We built these islands. Really, really cool. We're going to put like a castle on top of that. And then one last thing I'll show you is uh, Luca's girlfriend has built this amazing hobbit hole. So cozy. I mean, look at this place. It's got Eddie the cat. I mean, this place is awesome. It's got an aquarium. It just keeps going and going. Like This place is so cool. Okay, but now I want to show you my pride and joy. Everything so far has been mostly other people's stuff, but the one project, aside from the fjords, that has taken me so much time, the majority of my time on the server is... Doltcatraz. It's just a play on words of Alcatraz and Dolt, which is a word my friends and I have made up. Like you basically made a big L, like a big mistake in your life. You had a big Dolt, right? You might be able to see in the upper left is a village up there. And I built a railway, you know, shipped villagers down all the way down for the mountain. And I had to tear it up, obviously, because the fjord got in the way. But this railway goes all the way down underground it's so overkill, dude. I mean, this is ridiculous that I built this for a one-time use with all, like, the texturing and the the bridge there to look at all nice and aesthetic. Like, this is ridiculous, but it goes all the way down, snakes around, and then it goes underwater, which, I mean, this looks so cool. Dude. I'm so proud of this. And eventually, it comes up above ground to an island. And this is a naturally spawning island that I just found. It's just outside of town, and I built, still am building, Doltcatraz, the prison for the, <laughs> the prisoners. They arrive in this little loading dock, right? And you can either go left or right. I haven't finished that side, so we'll, we'll go where I spent most of my time. This is like intake, right? This is where the prisoners get processed. And then there's the maximum security wing. So we've got, you know, Big Todd. Oh, shit. I did actually mean to punch him. <laughs> Ooh, I, I genuinely did not mean to punch him, but we've got iron golems patrolling. Basically, we've just got all these little like wings for the villagers. So this is a toolsmith wing. 
All right, he's not gonna let me through. This goes towards the unloading area. So this is another kind of like industrial dry dock situation where we'll have boats and cranes and emeralds being unloaded and whatnot. This way, this goes towards uh, medium and low security, which I've obviously yet to finish. It's kind of just like a template. These will be like, you know, cells and like a shower in the back there. Right over there, that's gonna be low security, like a dormitory. I haven't finished it yet, so there's not much to see, but there is one other wing over here. This is super max. It's very tightly held under wraps. Can't get through easily, but oh, check it out. Oh, is there a creeper in the piston door? Oh my God, what the, how did he get in? What the hell? God, this place is just full of surprises today. I just wanted to show you the piston door, but creeper had other surprises for me. So we have triple iron door security for the, the worst of the worst, these scumbags. Basically, it's just librarians. I just wanted to keep the most valuable prisoners in their own wing. And they're up in like this high tower so they can't, you know, if they try to escape, they got to jump down to the sharp rocks. So. Ain't going nowhere. But yeah, I mean, look at that view. Got a nice view of town. Yeah, I mean, this is the most comprehensive, the most, oh, Jesus, you know, most produced town we've ever had. And normally we quit after like a week or two, but I think it's the mod pack, honestly. I think it's because all these different quality of life mods, and the shaders and everything. It just makes it so much more enjoyable than just like a, you know, basic realm. But yeah, I mean, oh, Jesus. But yeah, I mean, that's, fuck's sake. All right, I'm just going in creative mode. That's pretty much the town. Um, you know, this is three months or so of work. And I mean, it looks, I'm proud of this place, man. I just wanted to show it off because I've been talking about it for a while. and. Yeah, this is what we've been working on. We need a good name for the town, so if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave it. Anyways, we should probably get back to the Distant Horizons video. Get back to that scenic spot I found, so let's do it. All right, intermission over. I am back, got some chili in my stomach, and I got my water bottle. I am ready to game. I just wanna shout this spot out again, man. I mean, this is, this is the best spot I think I've ever found in a Minecraft world. Genuinely. This is so beautiful. But anyways, I wanted to lay out my philosophy a bit with how I want to play this world because I feel like a lot of the time it's very easy to just load up a world, go straight for building a house that looks like every other house you've ever built and you get your storage room, you get all your Damn it. You get like your XP farms, you get, you know, you get all the stuff that everyone builds and it quickly becomes like every other world. But I want to focus on, you know, like lore buildings or little tiny spots, campfires, ruins that make the, the world feel more lived in. And I also want to have this aura of believability where, you know, for example, if you build like a big stone castle, before you build the castle, you should build like a quarry or a cave where you get the stone out and you have cranes and stuff. You know, it makes it feel like it's actually possible for that to exist versus just having like a massive castle in the middle of nowhere with nothing around it supplying. But anyways, for now, I think the plan is just to clear out a little spot where we can put our, you know, to be determined campsite. All right, this is... This is pretty good. Oh, you know, one thing that I saw when I was recording earlier, pretty sure I saw an above ground mine shaft. Yeah, this thing, look at this. I've never seen an above ground mine shaft. This is pretty cool looking. Is that the bottom? Oh my God, bro. I'll probably explore this later, but it's good to know that this exists. Man, look at this view. All right, I've actually got one spruce sapling. That's kind of nice. I would say I, I want to go mining, but the first thing is I want to make this feel more like a bit of a, you know, campsite, barrels and industrial stuff and whatnot. Let me just quickly grab some gravel. I want to make a conscious effort not to rush to super enchanted, super overpowered tools as well. Like back on my old Minecraft server, the Flow SMP, there was this one guy that built this amazing looking barge and he built it entirely with I'm pretty sure either stone or iron tools. Like he didn't go very, uh, like any diamonds and whatnot. And I gotta say, I really respect that. Like you can build a lot of amazing stuff with basic tools. All right, eight should be enough. I just want to have a little bit 
so that I can make coarse dirts, I think. Yeah, so if you do that, that, yeah. 16, yeah, that's plenty. All right, so what I wanted to do is just kind of put down some of this coarse dirt. Now, just so it feels a little bit more like people have moved in here and they got their all their stuff mucking up the ground. Yeah, just, just a basic little thing. And then maybe some barrels, that'd be kind of good. Just like that. And then I don't have any iron yet, do I? No, I don't. It's really not a lot of stuff I can decorate with at this stage of the game. This is fine. This is just like a little, you know, this is what I'm talking about. This is the philosophy of making things just look a little bit more aesthetic. Like I could have just put down two double chests like everyone does and it looks kind of ass, but it's functional. But, you know, this is just a little bit more, a little more pizzazz, you know? Um, oh, actually a furnace. That's what I can make. Let's just do, let's do one furnace. Gotta cook some of this fish. Or, you know, I'll make some uh, charcoal. Yeah, once I get like a tent over here and get some wheat fields, this is gonna be really nice. I love developing an area and turning it into something. And maybe we'll put some planks around it just so it feels a little bit more like you got a platform to stand on. There we go, this is coming together. Oh, dude, one thing I gotta show you is, um, I've got this mod in this. When it comes to quality of life, this is my favorite mod, bar none, there is nothing better. It basically just adds backpacks and I I just don't understand why Mojang won't add this. This just seems like something, it's so helpful to have a little like tiny chest, not like a massive chest where you have like seven rows of inventory and you got like infinite storage space. It's just like a little basic backpack that goes on your back slot. It's so helpful. I just need to get some leather. It is such a nice addition. I cannot tell you how many times I've been out exploring and I'm like, damn, I can't carry all this stuff because this inventory system sucks balls. But when you have a backpack, it's actually like pretty nice. Because I mean, think about it, man. They've added so many items over the years to this game, but they've never done anything with the inventory. Well, I mean, they've tried to do stuff with shulker boxes and uh, what are they called? Like pouches or I don't know what they're called. Those little like bags that you can put stuff in. This thing where you can sort. Oh, that's such a good addition. I think that's from uh, Mouse Wheelie. And you can sort your chests if it's like all messy and you got a bunch of crap everywhere. Like so helpful. Why is this not in the game? It's such a good addition. Yeah, once I get a backpack, that's gonna really change the game. All right, 19 charcoal. We got food. We got blocks. I think we're, we're pretty set. We can go mining now. I guess maybe I'll go up to the mountains. That seems like a good place to look for cave systems. Just gotta sail across, I guess. Is that a cave? I think that's a cave. Looks like something right there. Um, it's not. Oh, is there a village here? Oh yeah, look. You can barely see it on the top is a village. Wow, okay. It's like, why is there path blocks down here? You know, I don't know if anyone else does this, but another one of my little pet peeves or things I do is whenever I mine out stuff like that, and you know, it kind of leaves like an ugly indent in the ground, I always fill it up. Just kind of make it feel like it's earth again. Because I just, I cannot stand, especially being on a Minecraft server, and there's just like holes everywhere because people have been digging out stuff and they didn't fill it back up. I like to keep my worlds tidy. All right, that wasn't a lot of coal, I'll admit, but that's a good enough start. I guess I could loot this uh, village up here. Might have some good stuff in it. It's gonna sound annoying, me just constantly gushing about this render distance, but it truly is. It's like a different game, honestly. It, it, it's like, it is Minecraft, yes, but there's just something about being able to see that far that turns it into a completely different experience. Yeah, actually, that's another thing that I want to mention. I really want to make a conscious effort not to abuse the hell out of the villager system. I feel like it's so easy to, to very quickly dilute the value of everything. Like, you can trade sticks for emeralds, and you can use those emeralds to get insanely powerful tools. I mean, not even insanely powerful, but just like you can get diamond tools on day one by trading with villagers. It's just like, what's the... Like, what are we doing here, man? Like, you're just bypassing so much of the game's progression. I don't like to to skip ahead too much. Like, I'll use them, I'll use villagers here and there. I won't completely abandon them, but I don't want to, like, solely rely on them for everything. Okay, I'm not seeing any caves yet. Oh, actually, that's a cave, right? Yeah, here we go. All right, that's not much of a cave, I'll be honest, but yeah, better than nothing. Oh, is this a cave? Looks like something. Pretty sure I heard a skeleton. Kind of spooky in here. Oh yeah, there's a skeleton. Okay. Alright, that's already a ton of coal, so... I don't need much more than that. 
Come on, pal. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of damage. Oh, God. I was not expecting him to do that much damage. Let me make a shield, actually. I've got the iron for it. Yeah, once I get a shield, skeletons can't do shit. Hopefully this is a good shield, because they can easily have really bad modifiers. Yeah, okay, bro. <laughs> That's so bad. What? Minus four health, 20% speed. Jesus. This is the uh, the tiered mod, if you're curious. It's it's really awesome. It adds, it's kind of like Terraria, where you get like custom modifiers on your stuff, but that is so bad. Let me try to make another one. <laughs> God damn it. I don't want to spend all of my iron on it, but that is such a debuff, man. One more. Come on, dude. Give me some good. There we go. Rare. That's pretty good. I can definitely work with that. Let's go deal with this skeleton. Come on, pal. Let's Django. Where is he? Here's bones creaking. I'm gonna say with the bliss shader, everything is so dark. It's not nearly this dark with rethinking voxels. I'm not actually sure where that skeleton went. Seems to have disappeared on me. There's a lot of iron and coal in these mountains, though. Check this out. Jeez, almost got a stack of iron, got a stack of coal. That was a good little trip. All right, so that's my that's my spot down there. I guess we'll make our way back down. What? Why is my sword translucent? Maybe that's with the bliss shader, like a bug. It's kind of cool though, not gonna lie, like a transparent sword. All right, let's make our way back down. I never did end up fighting that skeleton. I made that shield for nothing, but it's good to have it for the future. I can make that jump. I don't really want to risk it. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not confident yet. God, a lot more fall damage than I thought. Okay, so this is where the sheep are. Good to remember that when I start making my farms. Here we are. I, w I would say home sweet home, but it's not much of a home yet. Let's, uh, let's dump our hull. Smelt up the iron. I actually have a lot of bones. I could or use this on the spruce tree and just get some... Oh, first try. Ooh, I could make one of those mega spruce trees. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I forgot it. Dookie sprays all over the ground, though. Okay, yeah, we got like a stack and, stack and a quarter, so that's plenty. I want to clear out a spot for farms. I guess I could just put it on this patch of dookie grass. Right now, I mainly just want uh, sheep and cows. Actually, wait, before I do the farm, I forgot I have to make the wheat farm. So that should go. I feel like I'm, it should go somewhere right here. All right, so I'll get some buckets. I really gotta clean this spot up, man. This is so ugly. <laughs> I don't know why it generated like this. Let's just get rid of some of these trees. Can I just get rid of that? Yep. Oh, always oh, angry. Hey, get out of here, pal. Oh, jeez. What the? <laughs> Came back from the dead. <laughs> All right, this is this is plenty of space. All right, and then I need a hoe. All right, and then we'll just do you know a couple little pockets of water. That's a good enough size, I would say. I guess I should sleep. We've got 39 wheat. That should be plenty to get some sheep going. Ooh, one thing I gotta show you, dude. You're gonna love this. Normal fence, right, huh? But whoa, look at that. Diagonal fences, baby. It's so handy for building. I love this mod. It's literally just called diagonal fences. And more of that coarse dirt would look nice lining this farm, actually. There we go. That adds a little bit of charm to it, I'd say. Okay, and then now, let me make the animal pen. Feels like a good enough size, I'd say. Now we just gotta lead some sheep in here. Where are the sheep? I know I saw some earlier. There's a pig. Here we are. Come on. Come on, little fellas. Well, actually, I hope it's one girl and one boy, otherwise we're in trouble. Welcome to your new home. Hope you like it, because you're never getting out of here. Procreate. Alright, now we just need some shears. And we got some renewable wool. I'm gonna need a lot more than that. I only have six, but I wanna make a little tent. This feels like a natural spot to put it. One, two, three, four, five, six. I would say maybe like seven blocks long, two in the middle or, or three in the middle. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more wool than this. I'll chop down some trees while I'm waiting. Oh, actually I just realized sheep might not be able to regrow their wool on puzzle. Oh, god damn it. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Should have thought about that. I'll just have to replace the dirt with, with normal dirt. Oh, jeez. That scared me. Don't you be going near my bed? That's right. Creepers, uh, they burn in the daylight in this mod pack. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Podzil has to go. 
Okay, that's all that replaced. But I actually probably need to leave like one block for the dirt to grow through. Otherwise, it's never going to reach them. Let's do something like that. I think the baby sheep can get out, but eh. yep, there we go. <laughs> Oh, back in. Okay. Well, he can go in and out as he pleases. Well, I suppose I could actually bring in some more sheep while I'm waiting. That'd be a good idea. All right. I just went out and sheared a couple wild sheep. Got some more wool. Go add that to the tent. Like that. Yeah, that'll look pretty good. Looks like we got some, some regrowth. Get out of here, bro. All right. It's coming together, slowly but surely. Here we go, dude. This is where the money is. Look at all this wool. 26 wool. That's a lot. I probably should have just done that from the beginning instead of faffing around with this entire farm, but... Okay, I'm a few pieces short, but we are pretty close. You know what would be good, actually, is to have some banners on the front. I guess I could wait till nighttime and find some spiders, because that would be... I think that's what that front bit is missing. It's missing a bit of drapery. It is going to be cramped. It's not It's not the most spacious thing in the world, but this is more for a starter house. That's the real thinking with this. Oh, I spy a spider. Give me that string, baby. God, I suck. God, these guys are beating my ass. Oh my God. Jeez, that was kind of close. Three string. Okay, what did I need that for? Oh yeah, loom. That's right. I almost forgot. I gotta say, man, this place is really start. Oh, oh dear. Oh God. I'm not taking any chances. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Okay, I have my bow on me. I don't have my shield, though. Jeez, man, I for I, I'm forgetting that this is hardcore, and I need to actually take this seriously. <laughs> Let me make some armor while I'm in this little, little hidey hole. I ain't dying tonight. Wow, that's a terrible modifier. Uh, I might as well make a full suit of armor. See, okay, man, how is that rare? And you're gonna give me all those penalties? Come on. That's not rare. Okay, see, see how is uncommon better than rare? Whatever you say. Okay. I am fully equipped now to take on the night. I ain't dying tonight. No, sir. God, I'm so slow with this chest plate on. See a glowing bow. Die. Ooh. I collapsed. God, we're getting invaded. How do you make a candle? I've got this honey. Oh, sweet. One and... Okay. I'll make three of these. These are so pretty. I love these things. I just need to make the... Uh, what was it called? The loom? Yeah. Put this inside. And then, how do you make a banner? I think it's six wool and a stick. Yeah. And then I just want to kind of drape them. Yeah. That looks nice. So I'll have like three of them on the front and then three of them on the back. And that should be pretty complete. All right, I'm going to sleep now. I've got my string. It's, it's too scary out here for me. Oh, there was a creeper hiding. Die. I want to get a dyed bed. I don't want all this white garbage. Give me some flavor, dude. How about... What does a peony make? Pink? Should I have a pink bed? Eh, I can do better than that. How about cactus? Get a nice green bed. Ooh, that looks nice. That's a rich, rich green color. I like that. Oh, it's raining. I actually haven't seen rain yet with the uh, bliss shaders. The sky is very blue for it being rainy. That's kind of weird. Oh, they don't like the rain. They're running around because it's raining out. Oh, I feel kind of bad. Let me make them a little awning. Right, hold on, guys. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. They're already kind of using it. Hey, stay inside. Oh, god damn it. I right, only have two left. There we go. They stopped freaking out. How are we back to two? I thought we had like four sheep in here. All right, we can make another banner. Oh, I could actually hang one down. That way it's a little more private in here. I like that. Yeah, this is good. Whoa, what is this? I did, I did not see this earlier. What? This looks crazy. Okay, I got some loot. It's not very good, but... Oh my god, it's like a whole, like, mine shaft. How did I miss this earlier? I somehow have a feeling there's gonna be a trap in here, so I wanna be careful. Like, that redstone torch, that looks a little menacing. <laughs> Let me just break that real quick. Oh, check that out. Soul fire, I thought that's really good. Definitely be taking that. That's awesome. A lot of gunpowder, too. Okay, just like a little basic dungeon, I guess. See, man, this is the kind of stuff I love. It's not crazy. It's not over the top. You're not getting, you know, diamond enchanted gear exploring it, but it's just a little, little bit of lore, a little tidbit of lore. I love this kind of stuff. It's what makes the world feel all lived in, you know? 
Alright, let's deposit our plunder. There we go. And uh, maybe some paintings. That would be kind of nice. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to do that. This is awesome, man. I love... This is the kind of stuff I live for. Just a little basic starter house. You know, nothing too crazy, but it's something to get you started. And you know, just, a, just a nice way to get things kicked off. All right, I would say that's a good a good stopping point. This has been this has been lovely, man. It's it's good to be back. I gotta say, we got a nice little farm. We got sheep. We got a little tent. I mean, look, I didn't build a mega farm in the first episode, but nothing too crazy. Just a nice nice chill way to enjoy the game. And I gotta say, man, one more time, look at this view. This is just stunning, man. I I cannot believe how good this new version of Distant Horizons is. It's it's incredible. But as always, that's about it. So, I'll catch you later.